to him. I don't want to say what I think's happened because you can't surmise, can you? Um, but yeah, the cat. Long story short, the cat is gone. This made me chuckle. This. Sell a minute. And it, it, say, it, it was nice, but we, we, we have been using it. So people's been in and out, and we've used it. Weren't even too bad. So he goes on a bar. <laughs> Is this going to get valeted, like? And, and to be fair, obviously, they all get valeted, and obviously, it's just like odd stones and just little just little bits. Yeah, we've been using it, etc. And he, he, he says, oh, it needs to be mint, needs to be mint. It needs to be nice going. So I thought, right, got to get this car really nice. And anyway, I did it, and yeah. Beautiful. Anyway, this is this is his part X because he was going on about I need to have two mats in my car because I don't like my car dirty. Da -da 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 -da. Well, this is his part X. So I'm thinking this guy's really OCD with his car. Take my hat off to him. He'd be right nice inside. <laughs> yeah, right oh, right oh, 80 years of dust in here. Cack and Bob oh. It's been, in sand, you know, it's, been, it's been at beach, this. So I think he's really takes care of his car. Was I wrong? Got dog hairs here. Look at all this. It's going on about. It just made me chuckle. Wait, what was going on about? It says, oh, man. Needs to be mint, needs to be mint. And I thought, he, I thought he's one of them ones. He really looks after his car. And then he comes in. I'm embarrassment. I told you he's been at beach, this. Look, look at this here. Look at all this. Flip flops. Are they my size? I'm. Turkey in 22 days, that's the ticket. I'll wear these, a bit of fancy. So I've just thought his car would be really, really clean inside. That what? That what? <laughs> just made me chuckle. Put a smile on my face, that did. Thought he really looked after his car. Not. But this will make one, this. This will make one. Right, a bit, uh, somebody asked me in comments about uh, they can't, the, the, the car's really tired and they can't make it pop and shine. Uh, so this is, this is this is one of these, this this looks tired. Um, so what I tend to do to make it so the cars don't look tired when it's just feeling sorry for itself, I wash it, then I then I go around with tar and glue, like that, get it all synced in like this. I'll leave it for a, a bit, then I'll wipe it all off and then I'll wash it all, then I clay cloth it in uh, with my wash and whites. Uh, but keep that clay cloth wet constantly, so if the sun's out and it's just drying, just keep on wetting it, clay cloth it, and say it will get rid of all this, that clay cloth, it will get, it will get rid of all that, these, so what, what I'll get off, see that's all tar and glue, tar and glue it, so all this tar is coming off now. And then I'll wash it, and uh, that clay cloth will get rid of all these. And that's part of making your, your car less tired. Uh, and then use a nice good uh, a wipe, such as Meguiar's or Auto Glim, to make it shine. If you're still not happy with that, to make it not so tired, is. G3 compound which I've showed and um, a machine polish with bobblehead that'll make it pop and shine and not tired and you're just bringing that car up to life no matter what age it is so hope that helps where's top tip Boom. As you can see, it's been washed, tar and glued. I've put up some tear far to get rid of film. Wash, clay cloth, and as it is now, look at how, that, how much shiny, look how much that's popping a bit now. So you can go a step further uh, to buff it and machine polish it and then wax it. Or you can just put a quick detail spray, a nice shine, or some kind of nice, 
uh, wax or ogling polish. Uh, and look, uh, it's, it's, it's lifting up from all them little bits and it's all running down and shutting it's nice and smooth. And that's the result on that. So if it were a bit scratchy, I would buff it, but you, you can go a step further and buff it and machine polish it. But I'm quite happy just to, to detail spray that in a wax. I always go with my instinct of on cars, do I buff this or do I do a scratch there? But it hasn't really got any scratches. This it's a, again, it's just little details. And it's a, as a small company, is it, if, it, if it's being MRT'd in service and it's priced right and we've undercut for that turnover, it's just little details and a customer will come on and look at it. They seem rest, now they've got the best, isn't it? Pop and shine. It's time consuming, it's it is. <laughs> uh, it's in passenger side. side. Headlights, I know we've done it again, but cloudy. So, uh, try to restore them. So, I actually use some wash up liquid, some 1500 wet and dry. I have a little rub down. Swevin is what causes this. Say so again, though, this works on most cars. Make it nice and China. Just do it so it's like <clears throat> it's all misty. I'll show you in a sec. I don't try to get it all, I tend to get the biggest part of it, and then when you buff it, 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 it more or less gets it all. Say again, though, um, I've done it so many times. So if you're a bit scared of it, obviously. You could mask it all up just with some tape so you don't get touch body work but um I just do it this way because I've, I've I've never done it, I've never I've never caught I've never done it. And if I did I'll just buff it back up. But it's all about prep and an end of the day everybody has their own way, I suppose. See, now I've done that. Took that glaze off now, look. So I've just made you. I've, I've made it. I've made it a little bit worse. So uh, gonna make it worse before we get better. So uh, G3 compound again. Have a bob of that on. So just get it on a nice setting. Up and down. Side to side. Clip that now. So this will work on most of the cars. I know people say it will come back, it will come back. I've been doing this for years with 1500 wet and dry. Soapy water. I've done it on my, on my own cars, my previous cars before, and it, it's never it's never gone dull from shiny before and after. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Where's the top tip again? Yeah, I've done. Right sound. Cheers. So, we've had to get a new um, air vent for this. You can't get them separately for these golfs. You have to get them as a pair. But that was 25 quid for that, which I don't think is bad. And apparently, it's really easy to fit. All you've got to do is just get that fascia off that's attached to it and it sort of pops out. Just get the uh, connector for the hazard light switch and the airbag lights off there and it should be good to go. So I've been told all I need is some trim tools. So let's have a go and see if we can do it. Oh, I hate the noises, the plastic clips. <laughs> Always makes you feel like you've broken something. Not broken any of those. That's good. So now it's just getting 
at that little ant that was living in there. The little ant and deck. There we go. Oh, that is pretty simple to be fair. Right, lovely. So says hopefully. Oh. This is an inquiry from Auto Trader. Hello lovely cars. That's it. That's better. There we go. So you can't do it all in one, you have to basically push everything back in. And then that's that done. Lovely. So from broken to fixed in just under ten minutes. I call that a win. That bit, like, that bit made me chuckle that. What? <laughs> that was equal to you. Oh, <laughs> you're not seeing this bit yet. If you look at the board, the scenic sold yesterday. <laughs> you might just need to blur the last little bit out. <laughs> because it's gone. I know. Fine. Who <laughs> took it that day? I know. Yeah, on day. On day. Boom. No more phone calls asking for twenty pound a month fine or something. <laughs> I think there's about five cars out, like body shop and so we've got about five in, so I think in stock at the moment we've got about 45, but we've turned over, like I say, probably 70, 80 over the last three months, but since we got the new stocking loan, Dave obviously had a spending spree and bought a load of stuff, <laughs> and then because we've been busy since then, he's bought one, and then it's like I've sold two for every one that we've yeah, bought, yeah. basically, and then even with part exchange, it's been like one in, one out, mm -hmm. more or less constantly for the past few weeks. So. We're still looking empty at the moment. Obviously, I'm on holiday next week. Dave's on holiday end of next week. And then so, I go to Turkey. And then you're going to Turkey. So August is always a bit quiet anyway, isn't it? So we're kind of building up for that period. But we've not even got any stock to, to prep at the moment. <laughs> no. I think mean, that, that one that you're working on, that mock, mock it, yeah. came in yesterday. But the only reason you're like straight on to a part X is because everything else is done. <laughs> There's well, not, not uh, much else to do, is there? There is a... There's that seat to be done, that's waiting for me to do. Yeah. There's that and there's a couple of what's out to upholsterers. Yeah, it's well. all the, everything else yeah. is like nitpicky stuff, innit? That's yeah, just yeah. It. Is it. That green golf's due back. We got the uh, rear seat, we won the bid for that last week. So that was £99 for our entire back seat for that golf. Wow. And then that's, cool. wow. that's been, we're getting a courier to pick it up this weekend and bring it to us. So that'll be here next week when I'm not here. Um, and then. Wait for hours for, for that seat to come back. Yes, I forgot about that seat. Yes, so yeah. that's going to be nice when that when that comes back and all valid and detailed up. So that be uh, that be. Yeah, I'm going to talk you through some of my my favourite cars that we've got at the moment, though. And some of your favourites, Wayne, if you've got any. Oh, do you like? There's not many to pick from, actually. Yeah, that's just coming. That's this older. I think we've probably got a buyer for that actually to be fair. Wow. So I don't know. So that one's a quick in and out. This is Yeah. Yeah. He bought that BMW with airbag. Well it's six six four. 
people there. I'm hoping we never. I'm hoping we don't sell this because I quite want this. No, we, we, you can't get you can't get attached to cars. I know, <laughs> I know it's, it's hard, but it, it is nice. It get like it's, I say the guy who had the six series touring at Grand Turismo, the big yes. big thing. This was his part exchange. It was a proper BMW. He guy. laughed at me when I said that Turismo. Charisma. Yeah, and David, he's not one of them. Awesome, like, I was like, I think you, well, whatever it is, then it's a GT anyway. Yeah. But yeah, this is this is just spot on. Right colour, really like it with the silver wheels because David, like, oh, we'll paint the wheels black. I was like, no, you want a BM, proper BMW custom. He's announced on his car. It's just yeah, just needs a little dink pulling out of that door. Yeah, it's it's that's it. Say it's only got a dent on it. So this is my favourite at the moment, alongside. Complete <laughs> whiplash here with something else. That blue Clio, which I think you've shown off on the channel before. Yeah, I like that. I'll, mine's the the golf. What I've just done, Ed lights on. Yeah. Uh, I quite like the colour of that golf, to be fair. I'm, I'm fine and that, that Clio. That's nice. Who knows that is? This? Yeah. No idea who that is. Yours needs a wash. I know that. <laughs> Is it for sale? Everything's for sale. Everything's for sale. If someone wants to give me four grand for it, it's for sale. <laughs> you're going to get some right. I, I, I'm going to get... You're going to get, get some grand right beef now, because you no, don't no. know what ins and outs, what you've done to it. Roast me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Call it out, roast me, that <laughs> Yeah, oh wheels. yeah, the Sportage. So this was another Partex from last week. This was the one that, if you remember, we looked at. It had the rattle on it. It still needs sort out, to be fair, actually. Don't smell protein shake and bob are inside no more. Protein. Well, it spoke, smelled of protein somewhere. It began with an S, but I don't think it really. <laughs> but it's nice and fresh. This. No. It's just a shame yes. about the wheels on this. But yeah, we're, we're going to do wheels. Black, aren't we? Yeah. It's a proper. Mm -hmm. Yummy mummy sort of car, this isn't it? It's just someone wants a big car for sticking kids in. This is exactly the right one. And it's a nice spec, it's got heated rear seats, this you know. Have you noticed on door panel? I've never even noticed, yeah. <laughs> I've cleaned it. Well, I'll take your photos of it the other day, I just didn't realise how much spec it had. Panoramic, dual pane, panoramic sunroof. Obviously, diamond cut wheels, four all wheel drive. It's a. How much did they pay for this? Three and a half, I think. We're going up for about. I want to say seven nine nine C in my head, or it might it might be six nine nine C. Price not website anyway. I've not got a Scooby Doo, I didn't. <laughs> Besides that, uh, tension are just needing sorting out on the uh, on the auxiliary belt. Absolutely fine. This it's lovely. Uh, I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, oh, and the mocker. And the mocker. There is just. This, this, this bargain part exchange. Pop and shine, right. look at that. I've not even polished it yet, but I tell you, that clear cloth, it, it just makes all that grime and dirt bring it all out. So yeah, I'm confident uh, just doing a detailed shine wax on it. Yeah. And nice, but if it was swirling and still a bit flat, it, I would, I would, I, I would buff it, but. This is another yeah. one of those long MOT. It's had everything done to it recently. The guy just wanted a fair price for it against that black mini countryman that we had. And me and Dave, Dave drove it a little bit yesterday just doing some errands and it drives absolutely spot on. So people have their opinion about mockers, but the popular sellers. It's, one of those, it's just a bread and butter car, isn't it? This is, this is what focuses and stuff used to be like 10, 15 years ago. Um, and it's not perfect. It's got a couple of little touch-ins that it needs and whatever, but it, it's priced right, we bought it at the right money. It doesn't need any work really. It'll just be a case of just getting it up to fine fettle, doing the job that we need to do and Wayne obviously giving it a bit of love and then this is a nice £5,000 car for somebody. Yeah. Which it really it's a lot of car for £5,000 when you think of what's available these days. And this has got not every extra and toy in the universe, but it's not exactly lacking for, for stuff. It's got heated steering wheels, heated seats, cloth seats, obviously, but... What's that? So it's off roads? Oh, yeah, it's got um, hill descent control as well, because I think this is a four-wheel drive one. Again, like, <laughs> like, when would you ever need that in a Vauxhall mocker? But 
but yeah, it's um, another good buy. This so I was proud of this one again. We just seem to be having a really good run at parts exchange. At the moment, I, I touch wood. This is why we have wood in here because we have to touch it quite a bit. I touch wood that carries on, and we haven't yet had one that's been a bit of a nightmare recently. But I think we've got very good at weeding out the ones that we don't want anymore yeah, it's just yeah, yeah. immediately you know that c-max as well but that c-max isn't here at the moment i'll um i'll put a i'll send josh a picture to put in the video though of the tire that's on that wow. because i think i think lewis hamilton has more tread on his <laughs> on his formula one cars than and they drove all the way from london with that i have no words with no with five kids in car and then he had audacity to tell Dave on Saturday that Skoda Kodiak that we sold that one at tyres were a bit low on that. <laughs> and you tell me like, it's like, well, we don't want your part X. No, and then that this <laughs> ball in your court, we don't want your part X. There you go, deal with that now. Oh, there you go. It's just, again, silly expectations when. All side were caved in, weren't it? Wing yeah. caved in at door. <laughs> but again, it's a good it's a good runner and it's a power shift, but the gearbox is alright on it. Dave drove it around a little bit and it's, it seems to be fine. So, yeah, but that tyre is just ridiculous. You can see old metal on it. Like, oh, God, yeah. it, it's, it's rich like... Oh, and it's got a broken spring as well because it's gone for MOT and it's got a broken spring. It's ready for popping that. That's, that's yeah. on a rich like, ticking time bomb. Rich like. Well, good job we've got it sorted then, isn't it? Yeah. Right, I'll we'll go and do some more work. See if I can sell at least one more car before me holiday, that'd be oh, nice. Oh, I think I, you, you will do it. Oh, I, I, I know you will. I know, I know. I should have said two then, shouldn't I? Ha ha ha. Yeah, it's going to go yeah, and get done when it's back. Yeah. Fitted, your come, come, yeah, come. Uh, fitted your air vents as well. Oh, well done. I'm going to go pick the car up. So. Pop and shine. I love that word. The weather said that. Let's make it pop and shine. Look how much muck box come off. Come off of that. Now look. Again, what we'll do, <clears throat> we'll heat gun this, we'll heat gun that, we'll put some uh, like black to black gel on it and then spray it, lock it all in, wipe it, make it pop and shine again on that. It's all these little details. Don't rain it pours, don't it? It's like just loads of bollocks going off. The good thing is there's no warranty bollocks at the minute, but when you haven't got warrant warranty bollocks, other stuff happens. We bought a Nissan, a Nissan, I can't get my words out, a Volkswagen Sc Sirocco, Scirocco, whatever you call it, a few months back, 
and uh, I was showing the computer it needed loads of prep and so I thought I've spent all the money on all the prep took it to the body shop took it to the mechanic and then the mechanic I use in Sheffield he hasn't got an MOT ramp or MOT station so he takes it to another garage to get MOT'd so the Friday he drops it off at the garage and the mechanic there said, yeah, don't worry, we'll do the MOT over the weekend. Come back Monday and it'll be ready. So Monday, I get a phone call from the mechanic. And again, sod's law, he rings me where there's like no signal whatsoever. So all I can hear is him going, I've got a problem. And it cut out and he went, I've got a problem. The MOT garage is, 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 is... Oh, what was it? He said he'd, um, he's, what did he say? He said he's shut up shop and he's, he's gone. And it just kept breaking up. And I said, well, that's great. You've wanted an MOT station for ages. Just make sure you get talking landlords and you get it. And he's like, no, no. And he kept cutting out. He's like, we've got problems. And I'm like, fuck's sake. Like, I'll ring you back in 10 minutes. So then I got out of the terrible uh, signal, got to like Stavely, rang him up, I'm like, what is going on? He went, the Sirocco, it's being robbed. I'm like, you what, what do you mean? He went, I dropped it off for MOT on Friday. I've come back Monday. I've come to the MOT place. The mechanics that work for this chap have turned up. Everything's gone. The cars outside have gone. The, the tools, uh, the mechanics tools inside, they've all been robbed. Like thousands of pounds worth of stuff, is, uh, it's all gone, including your car. I'm like, oh my God. So we just rang the police and um, we just, I, I, don't, I don't want to say what I think's happened because you can't surmise, can you? Um, but yeah, the car, long story short, the car is gone. So we rang up the police. And they said, you know, oh, uh, just give us all the details of the car and stuff. Got a crime number, got in touch with the insurance, and it, it's all going through with the insurance now. So that was a great start to the week. And I'm just going to show you now what makes it so more annoying is this This was the car. The good thing was we didn't, it's not like it was a 20 grand car. I think it orders what we paid for it actually i'll get up and show you right so this is the car in question so we paid four thousand nine hundred and three pounds forty so that is what we can claim back from the insurance company but we'd spent one thousand three hundred and seventy pounds on it delivery 147 service bits 122 pounds headlight bulb 15 the body shop, £600, because we painted all the wheels black, wing mirrors black, it had loads of just daft scuffs and scrapes, or, and then uh, repairs, we spent £485 on uh, repairs, but there was still a two grand margin in it after that, but that's it, we can say goodbye to that £1,370, it is gone, so... Actually, I need to stop talking about that because it's depressing me. <laughs> and then this is the car question. So if anybody sees this car driving about, you can't forget the number plate because it's bj 17 X. That was it when we bought it. It had horrible gold alloys on it, painted them black. Wingmas were already black, actually. We sorted all the body work out. And, um, yeah, let's, is it bored enough? Come on, bored up. Yeah, it had two keys, uh, bodywork, yeah, there was just loads that needed doing to it, and we'd done everything to it. It was going to look absolutely spot on once it was done. I had a bit of service history as well. So that that is the VW Sirocco, which has been robbed. So if anybody sees it, just give us a shout or ring the police. And, uh, but I don't think we're going to see that car again. So I'm absolutely gutted about that. So I knew eventually it would happen at some point. I've been doing this, what, 11, 12 years, something like that. And touch wood, this 
Right. Well, never had any cars robbed. Don't mind touching wood because I've had a car robbed now. <laughs> Touch wood, hopefully, I'll never get another car robbed. Um, and it's sods law. I could have really done with that. Scor- I can't even say it. Sirocco, Scirocco, Sirocco. Because we've sold like loads of cars. Not loads of cars. I mean, there's a lot of cars that are at the body shop, and, but the pitch feels empty at the minute. So. I know a lot of, lot of like viewers and that do message us saying that they want to... We had a chap called Georgie message, messaged us yesterday about a, a Jag that he's got for sale. If anyone's got any nice cars for sale, any, you know, loads of history and good condition, just get in touch with me or James. Just ring up Lovely Car Company. We'll give you a price on the phone and, and just get in touch because we, we do need some stock at the minute. Pop and shine. Touched it in. Look at it now, look at this. One minute. Pop and shine now, look. There's a bit of clay cloth in. TFO, I hope that helps. That's popping that. Pop and shine. Boom. Oh, I love a bit of sun, me, I do. It's just nice, this. It's just nice. It's like this, folks. <laughs> we're swapping. We're, we're, we're swapping rolls. I can't get in. Oh, get it. Well, I've got in and out. It's like this, folks. We're swapping rolls. <laughs> If in the house, send out. Here's the, uh, what is it? <laughs> so we thought we'd do a little recap on this because this turned up. Remember when it turned up? Of course I remember. <laughs> I spent all, <laughs> spent all my life on it and then Craig's done last finishing bits. So this came about two weeks ago and I'll be honest, when it came I was like, oh God, just that sinking feeling inside of this is an absolute dog and how are we going to get it looking like summer? I think it's had about 10 hours in valet and detail in it. To be fair, like it has come up absolutely spot on. There is still a few bits missing, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. I found biggest part so of them. We've got like, this is, this is missing here, the um, air, vent. air vent. But if you look inside it, we've had the upholster on it, all the cigarette burns, of all being gone, I'll show you where they were. So this here had loads of little cigarette burns on it. That's been sorted. All down there, it looked horrific. And then Wayne's done the best valet ever. And then Craig, our detailer, he's just come in and he's just made everything look matte. Yeah. Not shiny, right. hasn't he? He's made it. He's, he's, he's brought it. It doesn't look brand new. Don't get me wrong, but. It looks like a complete different, different car now. It looks absolutely spot on. Fair. I think it's had around about 10 hours in. Yeah. 
But there's still yeah, lots of little bits that we need to sort, like this centre console bit. Just but tuck in that, that'll be, yeah, tuck in, in that, that. And we'll just clip that in. Air uh, vent. Um, oh, this is the one with the, the parcel shelf that everyone was kicking off about, but at the minute, there is seats in the back there. So if someone wants it for the seven seats, possibly they might not want the uh, uh, parcel shelf. Wayne's broke the air boot. <laughs> so that's it, it looks lovely. It looks really, really nice. The roof wasn't working, the mechanics got the roof working. We've spent, at the minute, we've spent 600 quid on it. The beauty of this one, it didn't need any bodywork, and Wayne's done a full machine polish on it as well. So he's got it looking shiny, it's popping. We spent about 600 quid at the minute on it. Purchase price, including delivery, was around 12,200. If we can sell it for 16 grand, there should be a clear two and a half grand profit. So again, it just goes to show you, you know the cars that you no, put that, the most, that, that's a good bar the most yeah, It's a good bar because sometimes the, I don't even at know. At the time, somebody, I didn't yeah. think it was. I yeah. did not think it was a good buy at all. And I'm just really proud of this car, like and what you've done, mate. You've, we've all, you've, we've all, we've all, you've we've made all, it look brilliant. Just them little bits now. It's uh, just bits and yeah, a little bit more love. Little, yeah, but now it is. It's yeah, it's a take. Because <laughs> if take. this was Grade One at the auction, everyone would have paid well over cap clean, and you might have been lucky to get 800 quid out of it. So if, if you put the work into it, you can get the margins out of the cars. Yeah, it's, it's a proud one, that one. It's a proper Radio 2 person. <coughs> you reckon? So I think yeah. that's a, it's a, it's a, it's a wonder be on that. Oh, lots Drive alright. Yeah, spot on. Absolutely. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. When's the MOT, so? Um, I think it's February next year. Right. Oh, well, no, just. Yeah. yeah. James has done another good deal, haven't you? Oh, yeah. This has been a. Proud of you. Well, Thank done. you, mate. I'm running out of cars. Yeah, we, we do need some cars, don't we? Yeah. So, like I said earlier on, if anyone's got any decent cars, plenty of history, clean, just, just give us a ring. I'm not expecting silly money for it. <laughs> Reasonable. Reasonable. Reasonable money, that's what we're yeah. going to say, yeah. You know, you don't want to live next door to your mother-in-law. You want her at least a, arms a, like yeah, arms like a bus stop away. And that's yeah. what it's been like with the garage next door. It's been like having your mother-in-law next door exactly. to you. And it's just, you can feel the, the pressure all the time. And the, the not anxiety, just the, it's, it's like bubbling up all the time, isn't it? That yeah, uh, so stress. Someone's gonna, uh, it's gonna pop. Someone, yeah, well, it didn't well, do. It did pop. It did pop. It did. How are you feeling, Wayne, about it? You are, right? I'm alright. I uh, said so things are happening, cars are going to garages. And yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's, we're all not thinking, is it gonna be done now? It is done. I think it was more just the stress yeah. that you had, and we all had last week of being like, fucking hell, if we, that if we stop this now, what are we gonna do next? Because it just adds another bit of. What's the phrase? 
<laughs> adds another complication to it, doesn't it? Oh, you yeah. mean not having them anymore? Not having them, yeah. I think that was the reason we've become too comfortable with, like, oh, we can just send it next door and whatever. But, but actually, now we've done this this week, it's not made a huge difference, has yeah, it? Yeah, you know, yeah. We can work around it and yeah. it's a walk away if ever one of us is stuck for getting down there or picking a car and yeah, whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, the garage we're taking it to is literally three minutes away in the car and we could actually walk there. So, um, it, it might work out a bit more expensive and whatnot, but for, for the ease of life. Like I said to you, the, the ease of life and being able to say to a customer a week for term and knowing that it's going to be that week, that, that five working days that you give well, them. Not five like working days. We like to think, yeah, like but think. not five working days. But that's you know, just going to take that time. You, you know you're going to set that car there. You yeah. know it's going to be it's going to be done. If it needs yeah. parts, it's going to be done next day, and you'll have it back within two days. Well, that, that's what's what happened so <clears> far. <throat> you know, it's it's been we've took a few for MOTs, and within the the, the day, yeah. we've like, oh MOTs done. Do you want to come and get it? Which is oh, a beautiful no. feeling because before it would be, oh we've got an MOT. Then seven days later, it's still not being touched. So you've always got to think ahead uh, because, as you say, as a small company, we get people all up there, don't yeah. we? And you want, and we want them right. I'm not saying it's going to be perfect, but at the moment, it, no, we, it we, feels we, like we've got we, someone who actually, yeah. not that, not that they're like begging us for work, but you give them a job and they go, yeah, we'll do that. It's not negative straight away. It's yeah, not like right. you're yeah. in their way. You get just getting it done, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is how business should be. I don't want to go on too much about this, but when we used to go around and be like. Oh, we've got an MOT, and they'd look and they'd be like, "Oh, you lot again." <laughs> It'd be yeah. like that, wouldn't it? Yeah, you feel like you're, like you're in the way. And the great thing is, because it's out of sight and it's round the corner. Maybe this might be a bad thing, but when you would see the cars next door, and you'd be like, "Why haven't we touched them? Why is it not in the garage?" Yeah. You know, where now it's out of sight, and yeah, as long as we get it done within a day or a couple of days, then we're, we're all happy, aren't we? Yeah. So. But yeah, that's why everyone really, we weren't that stressed. We were stressed out for a couple no. of hours, weren't we? And then it's all emotional. Everything's all right, isn't it? Think really, it, it happens like this. And yeah. Yeah. We, we, all, we all sit holding hands and all singing come by. Or... <laughs> we went out for a pint about a couple of months ago, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, took you out for a drink, yeah. wine and dine. Yeah, yeah. 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 you were an older. You were an older, yeah. 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 We, we had a... We had another. Right, because well, me and James are going away. Come on, we need to get some work done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so, what's it with these pictures? Picky um, weeks. <laughs>